today we're gonna do a really quick video. I just had an awesome back and leg workout and I filmed it for uh, Instagram Reels and decided that we could add a little commentary to it and put it into a little short YouTube video. So bonus video for the week. Um, but just a couple little like, I guess housekeeping things uh, to go over. Shit, I forgot the thing that I went in there for. Um, Number one, California Christmas uh, will be on Netflix on December 14th. So that's really fun. You guys will have to check that out. Uh, nice, feel-good Christmas movie to really set the, uh, set the mood for the season. Um, and tomorrow, I will be filming a Q&A, the first ever... Q&A for the channel. Sorry, I'm getting an incense stick. Um, this is like my new vice. Um, tomorrow I'm shooting a Q&A video. Um, first one ever on the channel. That'll be really fun to do. Um, I have a bunch of questions that I've kind of compiled really over the years um, that I've just... Check out this incense burner. Um, so cool. Just a little slab of wood. Really nice. Um, really that I've compiled over the years. It's, it's, I'm basically, well, I'm going to break it up into three parts. I'm going to do, uh, it's going to be a three-part video series Q&A. Ooh, it's bright, but it's already sunset. So weird. Daily savings time happens the same time every year, and I'm never ready for it. But anyway, it'll be um, three videos. It's going to be, uh, the first video will be frequently asked questions. The second video will be um, more personal questions. And then the third video will be just kind of fun questions that I've gotten uh, that I think would be fun to answer. Uh, conversation starters for the comment section. But anyway, today, uh, just a quick run through of the workout that I just did. It was, re it was really good. So I just figured it would be a, um, a fun little uh, video discussion. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little quick commentary uh, over the video. And, um, yeah, I'm back in LA for a week and then I go back up to Northern California to continue shooting the TV show I'm on, uh, as soon as I have the okay to share more about that, I will. Um, yeah, California Christmas, December 14th, uh, that'll be fun. And, uh, maybe I'll do some sort of Netflix watch party or something for that. That would be, that would be fun. That'd be really fun. Uh, anyway, on to the workout. I will talk to you after the Just a quick rundown of my back and leg day, starting with pull-ups. This is a neutral grip. Next, we're going outside and into bent over rows, going for about uh, four sets of about 15 reps here. It's not too heavy, they're 50 pounds, so it's only 100 pounds on the bent over row. Next, moving into RDLs or straight leg deadlifts. Um, I get a little bit of bend in the knee, it gives me a better stretch through the glute and the hamstring. Uh, again, four sets of about 15. This is one of my favorites. Um, I, I don't have rings, but the TRX do the job. Uh, the suspended row, it's almost as challenging as a pull-up. Uh, so we're doing four sets again, about 15, 12 to 15 reps. Now we're just going for an ass to grass goblet squat, uh, 50 pounds in the front, kind of like a front squat, really. Um, I'm really happy with how my legs are leaning up a bit, not carrying as much size in the thigh. I love it. Another favorite leg exercise of mine, the Bulgarian split squat, about 10 to 15 on each side. It really gets into your glutes, really gets into your quads. And then superset that directly with single leg hip raises to really fire up the glutes.
burn them out, about 15 on each side for both exercises. Now moving into just isolation work, hitting the rear delts a little bit, some regular flies, superset that with face pulls on the TRX. I can do this with bands too, but I just like the way the TRX, I like the movement pattern a little bit better, the resistance pattern just a little bit better on the TRX for the face pull. And the last upper body motion that I did was simple shrugs. Again, only 50 pounds, so I'm going high, high reps, uh, sets of 30, starting to lose some steam there. Um, but it's really been great for development of the upper traps and the upper back, just to, uh, if I'm going for the leaner physique now, um, it's still nice to have some size in the shoulder area. And sitting at about maybe seven, percent body fat eight percent maybe I wouldn't I don't even think that's nine but it feels good I like what I'm eating then moving into curls I love this motion so much it's so old so old school but it gives you a really good pump lock your knee into your elbow and just crank out as many reps as you can really forces the peak to work all right I hope you enjoyed the workout I hope you will try the workout um if you haven't already Look at the last video I posted, the how to build a gym for under $1,000, like way under $1,000. Uh, super helpful for those that are still uh, unable to get into a gym or those that, you know, don't feel safe in a gym because that's a reality right now. Um, so check it out. This will be nicely paired because you have the how I built the gym and then I'm going to do a series of workout videos, like really short workout videos of how I use the gym. So... As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please comment, please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are interested in learning more about my online coaching program, always, always, always feel free to email me at the one pack wonder at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Q&A. Looking forward to it. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.